I'm interested in how we flexibly plan and execute sequences of skilled movements. For instance, all of us learn some dance moves. Then when the music comes, we can just flexibly improvise smooth, skilled sequences. It's really about our embodied experience in the world, uh, but it's also about our cognition and how we plan and how we, we put together um, elements uh, in an organized way. I'm interested in how the brain architecture, whose particularity is that it's very modular, can support this ability of ours. The fact that you're going to have different brain regions that interact with dynamics. I'm really interested in uh, using a theoretical approach and a computer science approach um, in order to try to find actionable principles that we can implement in models. There are really two different approaches. One of them would be to have pretty simple networks that you can really analyze and understand. And on the other hand, there is the artificial network approach where you can really get something complicated but to, that you don't necessarily understand. What we try to do is to uh, hit the middle in two different brain regions, the thalamus and cortex, and they interact through a very specific architectural motif, which is loops. And what I found is that these loops are well suited for learning many movements without interference and flexibly stringing them into sequences. I'm really interested in long-term planning and the multiple timescales with which we organize sequences in a hierarchical way. And I'm also interested in the interplay between the more internally generated aspects of movements and the feedback from the external world. The potential applications long term would be to be able to design and control in a better way prosthetics um, or even robots that would end up being more agile, as well as fundamentally uh, answering questions about biological embodied intelligence. <laughs>